Hello world and welcome to another episode of UBA. In today's episode we are going to talk about how is to take an AWS certification online. If you're interested in more videos about serverless, cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I've been posting two or three videos a week. So let's get started. <laughs> back I posted a video on taking my certification my cloud practitioner I started talking about why you should take a certification and then I did a video on the hardest questions for the cloud practitioner that I found on the exam practices so this is a video following up that series I took my certification like three weeks ago already oh, time passes but I recorded some clips during that time and I also took some notes that I want to share with you and I want to talk more this is a generic video it's not about the cloud practitioner it's about taking the AWS certifications online because since March uh, I think somewhere there late March maybe now we can take all the AWS certifications online that's great because we don't need to go anywhere so I think having a little video explaining how the process is and some tips on taking that certification might ease the mind of the people that are about to do the certification and I know because even if this certification was pretty easy the cloud practitioner I still was nervous I think anybody gets nervous before an exam at least I do no matter what I'm being examined on so let's go and talk a little bit about it so the day has come I need to enroll to take my AWS certification I've been postponing this forever, but I think I need to do it because if not, I will keep on studying forever. I have this huge impostor syndrome. It always happens the same. I study, I do well, and then the day of the exam, I freak out. So now I'm guaranteeing nightmares for the next days until my exam comes. So let's go to my screen and schedule an exam. So I go to the AWS certification page and there I click schedule an exam and I need to sign in in something. Uh, let's see. I have an account because I created it. So it will redirect me. So if you have not created an account, you should do more steps, but I already have one. So you will see this page and here you need to know that is the Pearson view, the one that has the uh, online uh, one. So where you can see that. It doesn't say, well, it's Pearson view. So you go to schedule an exam and there it will take you. Okay, here, online proctoring AWS exams. So you need to choose this Pearson view to register and blah, blah, blah. So let's speak. Certificate Cloud Practitioner. Schedule with Person view. It's logging me into another system. Yes, this is very practical. I'm already in like three different systems. Uh, how do you want to take your exam? At home. Are you going to test if so, perform a quick check to verify compatibility. Run a pre-check. Let's see, I will not take it right now. Allow, allow. Let's see, everything seems right. My computer seems doing the right thing. Good, good. Good, now I can go back. Next, let's see if the time that I have thought about it, it works. But first I need to agree on a lot of things. I will read them for sure. It's important here that you agree if you choose to take this test through our online proctoring function, function. It's not mandatory, but you need to agree with all these things that you have no right to privacy at your current location when the exam is going on and you don't, cannot complain about that. So you need to accept that and you need to upset everything, basically. So now you want to select your language. Let's select English if there is Chinese, Japanese and Korean. And now we will go through. Let's say, ah, 
Even I've been passing all my certifications with quite good notes. I am just freaking out. Okay, here uh, 90 euros I need to pay. So that's good. Uh, so much loading. I'm nervous and I'm not even started. You might add one or more exams to take. No, I want one. One is enough. I don't know how people can do more than one. The problem is that when I'm practicing, it takes me like 10 minutes to go through the certification. So this is going to be fun. I want to take it when I said next Tuesday 7. Let's see if my date and time is available. I want to basically do it on Friday today and I will have Monday and the weekend to practice. And the time zone is my time zone and I want to do it around 1, not a.m. 1 p.m. 1 30 maybe so I have time to eat and then I'm here and take the exam maybe okay <gasps> I'm nervous already <gasps> I hate exams I always been very good at exams but I'm always very nervous at them good now I need to pay terms and conditions Da, 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 There is so much information. I don't want to read it right now. I want to accept. I hope they send me this information later. Okay, now it's time to pay. I'm registered for next Monday at 1.30 p.m. So my plan now is to do a little bit more rehearsing today, do one or two exams on Saturday, Friday, and Sunday, and on Monday and try to get through the most exams as I can. I've been scoring around 85-90% in all my exams, so um, it's good. Uh, yeah, I've been not retaking the same exam as I said I will, because I have quite good memory on position on questions, so I tend just to answer without really reading, and that's not good. So I bought on Udemy a course that has like many questions, and I'm testing from there. I did the Acloud Guru ones and the Wiz Labs, and now I'm running from here. I will leave you the link to the course that I got in Udemy, that it was quite cheap, it was like $10, and to practice. And yeah. So I will see you again on Monday. I don't know. So let's talk a little bit about the basics of this online certification. So you will have a proctor and that means that you have a person that is looking at you. So you register to the certification and then you need to go and log in 30 minutes before your session. For the AWS certification in particular, you will have to use your phone and you will need to validate your face with a nice selfie and then take a picture of your ID. Also, you will need to take a picture of your environment, like a back picture, a front picture, and a side picture of what you can see from your desk. After all that is done, then you will move to the online page, and there you will meet your online proctor. And that is a person sitting somewhere who knows where, and I'm pretty sure he's monitoring a lot of people at the same time. So he will tell you like, well, I would like to see your surroundings and then you take your computer around and you move it. So you need to be in a very quiet space. It's super important because that person in the other side of the world, they don't know how your house is, what is that noise. So not speaking whatsoever, no phone, leave your phone as far as you can. Remember to put it in silence and take your watches. He will check that you don't have any watches. He, will, he also check inside my glasses, I don't know for what, maybe for, I don't have smart glasses or something like that. Um, but he checked on that. He didn't let me even to have a mug on my table. He told me that the only thing that is allowed on the table is a transparent glass. So that's kind of thing. And then I will go to the exam. When he checks everything, he will enable the exam for you. And then you are there, you do your exam and if you make any noise he will notice so be very very careful i know it's kind of creepy to have someone that is watching and listening at you during the next hour and a half but it's okay you're taking an exam and it's i think it's okay because if you were going to the exam place then that will be the situation that somebody is looking at your shoulder if you are not looking anywhere so that's how it goes so don't creep out that's their job. <laughs>
One important thing, as I said, you need to check in 30 minutes before your exam. And that's something I screw up. I didn't know, well, I didn't read the instructions very carefully because I was like, eh, I will log in. And the day before I did my pre-check-in and I thought that was enough. So I was like 20, 15 minutes before my exam and I went to my email to see the information and then I realized like you need to register 30 minutes before and then I almost panic and that's where you have those 30 minutes to do your pre-check uh, check out like of your space of your identity and everything so try to be 30 minutes in advance just to be safe and yeah don't don't panic like I did <laughs> and read the instructions I think they are very important hey I just want to make a quick update I just passed my certification yeah I finished like five seconds ago, so I just wanted to jump in and record this. And um, yeah, it took me like 30 minutes or so to go through the whole questionnaire and do 20 million different reviews on the questions I have. I don't know the value, how much I pass it. Maybe when I record this video, uh, the one that I'm going to put this clip into, I know the percentage, but for now I just know that I pass it. Yeah. So I'm very happy. That's the first certification ever on AWS. At least I'm not an AWS certification virgin anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to tell you that. Uh, Another thing, if you're doing this online thing, is to close all the windows that you have open in your computer. They will force it to close. They will not. Uh, the app that will run your exam will not start the exam if you have any open window. So before you start your exam, close all the windows of your computer, save all the files, close all the messaging, put everything uh, offline as you can, because then you will be able to start the exam. If not, for me, I had my browser open because I needed to have my browser open to start the app, but then I didn't close it because I forgot. And when the exam was starting, the proctor told me, well, you have something running in your computer. I was like, no. And then I realized it was my browser. So, nah, lesson learned, close everything. So before starting your exam, the proctor will ask you if you have any questions and that's your time to ask any if you have. I I ask him if I could talk on during the exam because I sometimes read the questions out loud because English is not my native language and it helps me a little bit sometimes to think to read things out loud and he was like no don't make any noise just keep it as clean as possible so yeah that's something to have in mind that you will need to be very silent and you need to be in a silent place if somebody appears or interrupts you or anything you might you will fail the exam automatically so be very careful i think that's the trickiest part of this whole online thing the check-in process is very easy the whole preparation is pretty straightforward just make sure nobody will interrupt you i think in general the experience was very pleasant i think it was nice i did it in my house i just tidy up a little bit so there was no much stuff on the table i had a very clean desk and just a glass of water uh, i was wearing a short sleeved so he could see my arms and nothing like it it just went very smoothly the software is pretty straightforward it's nothing special but it does its job so you can move forward the questions and then at the end you have a chance if you when you are working on the questions you have the chance to flag the questions and you can also add like comments so what i did i was like okay this question i'm between a and b so i put it in the comment i'm between a and b and then i went move forward and mark all the questions like that and then at the end you're able to review the questions again all the flag questions and there you can check the comments and 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 and, and see what was your thinking I like to do it like that because at least for the cloud practitioner, it always takes me around 20 minutes to go through the whole exam. It's pretty, pretty simple, but I make a lot of mistakes because I'm not reading properly because sometimes I just um, too fast. <laughs> so I was very, very careful on trying to read all the questions. So I flagged at the beginning and the first round, I flagged, I would say almost all the questions except the ones that were obvious. 
and then I stop I stop uh, unflagging the the questions as I move forward because I know that I'm very anxious and that's how I kind of was not getting great grades on my practice exams because I was just always so in a hurry uh, luckily on the practitioner I got 96.5 so it went very well I might fail like one or two questions so it was not that bad uh, and the questions were what I was expecting I think doing it at home at least for me reduced the pressure of being in a random cold space that you don't know uh, and, and it really helped the only thing I will do for my next certification that I will be talking about which one will be in my next video of the series but for my next certification one thing I will do is I will put a clock watch and that's because I'm a time freak I always like to know what time is it and I have always a watch in my wrist and I'm always watching looking at it but during the, the certification you cannot have a watch and also the computer watch gets like uh, blocked because of the app takes the full screen so I was in this void of time and, and I didn't know if it like five minutes passed well you have the timer that says how much time you have left but it, it was just a little bit uh, get me anxiety not to know the time I don't know if you understand that feeling <laughs> like I need to know what time is it all the time so for me for next uh, examination I will put a clock a watch on my wall so I can see the time all the time and I will be feeling a little bit more relaxed the cool thing of doing it online and I imagine it's also on site that you get the note right away you press the button and it takes a few seconds and it tells you yay you pass it doesn't tell you the percentage or it doesn't tell you anything else you need to wait like five days to get all the details but I think it's pretty cool that you can get the pass or fail right away and it makes you like oh now I'm done I have done my certification and that's it so that's what I wanted to share with you in this video just making the online exam is very straightforward very recommended and you should go and study for your exams in the next video on this series might be in two weeks I will be talking about which certification I choose next and why and I think you will get a surprise because I told you in the first episode in the series something a little bit different but now that I've been doing my research I changed my mind so let's see what happened in the next episode of this series and I see you in the next episode of Ruba. Ciao ciao!